Alright, so right now I'm going to my homegirl's place. I'm going to show you guys her apartment and her expenses here in Cuenca, Ecuador. Hola, Vanita. Is that nail polish? You got nail polish on? Yeah. Hi, my name is Adriana. I am from Ecuador. I live in Cuenca, the best place for me. <laughs> okay, so tell us about this room. <laughs> uh, this room is, is small. For it's grande. Mm, I don't know. I for think me. it's big. This is small. Yeah, it's for one person or two person. One person, two person. Kind of. Is yeah. it a lot of rings? Is it group? A lot okay. of the rings? Not of the rings. No, it's the... It's the it's the Guerra de las Galaxias. Guerra de las Galaxias. Oh, you're it's rich. Group. Look at the dinero. Okay. <laughs> I say, check her out before it's like a little relaxed area yeah, with your special oils. Yeah. And okay. is it gymnasia? Mini gym. Yeah. Mini gym. I like it. You got the mirror, all your equipment. <laughs> Pero. Ah, this is the kitchen. The kitchen. Mini kitchen. <laughs> it's a big kitchen. Yeah, it's small for me. This is small for you? This is enough for me. Yes, See, it's a, a little eating area. Laundry? See, laundry. It's a laundry La with a nice view of the mountains. So when you have visitors, they come here? It's a big room. <laughs> okay. Now your bedroom. Ooh. What's in your bedroom? <laughs> this is her main bedroom. And it's quite big. It's spacious. You got the nice sunlight, nice views, and big closet. In storage. E. El baño. E baño. It's for a buena persona igualmente. I really like her shower. A lot of Ecuadorian homes have this like ugly blue color, but yours has like this nice type of marble, I guess. And the shower is really big too. Under the sea reminds me of the aerial. <laughs> Okay, so, quantos dollars uh, per mesas Quantos. in casa? Quanto pago por mes. Now, before we continue, I would love you guys to share me your expenses on how much you pay per month for the property that you rent. I also did this on IG and asked people in New York how much they paid per month, just so we compared to how much she pays per month here in Cuenca. It's 220 120? 220. 220 per month. That's really good. Mm -hmm. In America, for a place like this, maybe 3,000 oh. per month wow. <laughs> or more, sí. depending where it is. Muy super expensive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how much you spend on comida per month? Uh, $50 per month. month. Wow. One person. For one person. Two person. See. Si. See, si, that's good. Food, yeah. Full food. Food. Good food. The water. See? Si. Yeah. Water, electricity. Water, electricity. And for one person, it's $30. $30 per month. And, and your internet? Ah, this is a part Oh, it's a part of the apartment? Uh -huh. $28. $28. For, for uh, 15 mega, 50 megabytes. Yeah, 
a place like this, everything in total, beautiful views, and a really nice, safe neighborhood. You feel safe here, right? See, yeah. is the cost of living here is really low compared to other places in the States or the West. What would you say would cost more out of all your expenses? For me, it's Ropa? different. <laughs> <laughs> Tú estás hablando de la ropa? What, what's okay? No, what, uh, what's what would you say yeah. is muy caro uh, yeah. in tu expansión? En mi opinión. Sí. Ah. Eh, no, no es caro. En mi opinión, no es caro $200. Porque before I, I went, I went, sí, I went li to live in other place. Far, far away is, is the same. It's lo mismo. 215 more. Sí. Yeah. But it's a good place, obviously. Yeah. But, pero it's super cheap for me. Close uh, the, the part, par, parques, sí. all parts, por, por my, mi Blanca. She love uh, walking for close the river yeah swing me you know <laughs> yeah i like i like wink <laughs> me too <Yeah. clears throat> So as you guys can see, the cost of living here is so low, which is really beneficial if you want to have a better quality of life, um, if you want to build a business. You know, there's a lot of people in America that want to build businesses and they just can't because it's possible, but it's a lot trickier because they also have to maintain their lifestyle that they have there and they have to get a normal job. So that means they have little time to focus on what they really want to do. For example, with me, I wanted to do YouTube full time on my main channel. So for me to do that, I had to move to Thailand. The cost of living was really low and therefore I had so much time to just focus on one thing and build a stream of income from that. You'd be surprised, some people just go to Mexico or places like South America just so they can pay off their debt back in home because again, the cost of living here is so low that they're able to save their money and put back. Having expenses and rent so low, especially when you make income from the internet, it just provides a lot of opportunities and a lot of doors for other opportunities, investments, etc. And some people don't even do it for an opportunity. Some people, especially older people, they come here to retire because their money goes a longer way. They can relax, they can enjoy their lifestyle and they don't have to worry about expensive healthcare, expensive rent and all that in the USA. But anyway, that was my friend Anita showing her place. She's actually in one of my videos if you want to go see when we went to the spa here in Cuenca in the mountains. It's really beautiful, really cool. Make sure to check that out. I'll put that in the card. Hit the subscribe button and the notification if you want more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in another travel video. Peace.